Okay, to start for our spaceship, we're going to do our main body build, those sections of the spaceship. So we'll start with the main body of our project. We're going to use a cylinder shape to do that. And our, this section of the spaceship has two parts, the solar panel and the magnet. So we're going to start with a cylinder here and make it bigger by clicking on the white boxes. And we're going to note that in the program, the units are in millimeters, not centimeters. Now once that's done, we're going to duplicate that cylinder and make it smaller and taller. And for the different functions in the program, if you scroll over them with your mouse, it will show you what they are. And if you look on the Tinkercad site, there's also shortcut keys for all those different functions, like changing size or duplicating the cylinder. So we have our second cylinder changing the size here. Now we want to align those cylinders together. So we're going to use the align tool for that to position them in the center of each other. Now we're just going to raise the outer cylinder and group them together. And then we have our first section of the spaceship. Now for the next section, we're going to build the thrusters. It's time to create our Space Junk Collector thrusters. We will create one, then utilize our duplication button to create copies of our thrusters. Let's begin by moving our main body to the side and freeing up some space on our work plane. Now we'll take a box, as you see, and change the view perspective to be looking down and then resize it. Again by clicking in the dimensions and just adjusting them there. There we go. And now we'll take a second box, resize it and align it in the center of our first box and move it until it's touching the first box. Holding the shift key while dragging an object, we'll move it in straight lines vertically and horizontally. So if we group our boxes together here, it's going to give us our shape for our thrusters. We want to make that height a little bit shorter for our thruster. And raise the thruster using the black arrow above the object. When we're happy with how our thrusters look, we can now duplicate. We need four thrusters in total to be at 90, 180, negative 90, and zero degree positions on our, our sphere, or on our cylinder. So we're going to duplicate one thruster, rotate it 180 degrees, and then group them together. And we can group them together by highlighting them like that. And then we're going to duplicate. Now we have them all together, we're going to group them all together and align them in the center of our main body and group. And there we have our two first sections combined together. Now we're going to add our lasers. To create our lasers, the device that will shoot any space debris into oblivion. We'll begin again by moving our main design to the side and grabbing a box. Resize that box and change its height. And then raise it. We'll rotate the roof using the curved arrows, as you see here.
then resize it and duplicate. Now that we've duplicated that triangle, let's move the second move slightly and turn it into a hole, and then group them both. We we'll duplicate this new shape and use our flip tool to flip the shape into the vertical place. Now we will align our angled objects with our box and group. All that's left to do is duplicate our laser and move them apart the width of our main body and rotate them at 135 and negative 45 degree positions, just like we did with the thrusters. And there we have it, our lasers are complete. Next section, we'll move on to the scanners. Now it's time to move on to the sensors that will be actively searching for any floating space junk. We will need eight scanners, and to do so, we will begin with a box. So we're gonna start over on the side again with the box, and we'll need eight of them. We'll resize it, changing its height and raising it ever so slightly, just like we have done with our lasers and thrusters. So they're not directly on that blue surface. So remember, once we've made them, it'll be time to duplicate and then rotate our scanners. We need the scanners at 22.5, negative 22.5, negative 67.5, negative 112.5, and negative 157.5 degree positions. Using that duplication and rotate tool can make the step quick and maintain symmetry and make sure you have everything on all the sides equal and balanced the way you want it. We're now on to the final piece of our space junk collector, the harpoon. We'll start off with a box and resize it and put it into the position we want. So again, we click in the little box where that 20 is, we change the dimension. There we have it. For a harpoon length, Now we'll rotate the wedge block to make the tip of the harpoon. Rotate, and we'll also have to resize, and then group it with the box. So rotate. There we have it. And we're going to group that with the box. The little one we just created for the harpoon. a little bit too big. There we have it. You can always scroll in to make sure that everything is connected or placed exactly where you want it. And there we have it. Now that we have a harpoon, we're going to duplicate it and rotate them into the 127.5 and negative 127.5 degree positions, and then group that with the rest of the design. Feel free to follow the video again or pause it if you want to check on any of those instructions. 
Um, I think you'll find the program very intuitive and easy to jump into and, and use. So there we have it. We have our space junk remover equipped with lasers, scanners, harpoons, and thrusters. Big shout out to the student who created this project 